Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Tanelli here. Today, we're answering your questions. And today's question comes from Instagram, and it is from It's Justin on TV. And his question is, what is the most difficult thing about playing pro ball? All right, so... Professional baseball is a lot different than college baseball, way different than high school baseball, way different than any baseball you've ever played for a couple of reasons. Um, I think the the easiest thing that most people would probably assume is the most difficult thing is the talent that you're playing. The players are just so much better. They're some of the best players in the world. And yeah, that is true. The players are really, really good. Obviously, it's the best of the best players. Um, but in professional baseball, when I got to the minor leagues, I didn't step on the field as a minor league player when I got drafted and, and step out and go, whoa, these guys are unbelievable. I don't think I can play with these guys. Um, I thought it was obviously very good players, uh, but I had played in the Cape Cod League during my college career, which is basically a league for all the best college players. Um, I played in the ACC, which is one of the best college conferences uh, in the in the country. And so I was used to playing against really, really good players. So as much as, yes, the talent level is really, really good, I don't know if that's the most difficult thing about professional baseball. When you get to the big leagues, yeah, the talent there is really, really good. But but remember, what, if you get to the big leagues, that means you're pretty damn good also, okay? Um, so that's not going to be my answer. And I think most people would probably assume that's what it is. I think that the biggest difference between professional baseball and any other baseball um, that you play, at least for me, is the amount of games that you play in combination with the travel that goes with it, being on the road, you know, all of the things that go with playing every single day. And no matter how much I talk to people about this, because a lot of people ask me about, you know, what's it like playing pro ball? No matter how much I tell people what it's like to have to play every single day, I don't think you can really know what it feels like until you do it. When I hear of Cal Ripken Jr. playing in all those games in a row, I don't understand how he ever did that. Because when I played every single day, and I'll say this, hold on one sec. The minor leagues for me was tougher than the major leagues. The major leagues, you actually get a few more off days. You're flying on, you know, you're, you're flying on private planes. Um, you're, every, everything's better. The food's better. You have chiropractors and masseuse. You have a masseuse if you need it. And you have everything you need. You're staying in the best hotels. Um, the travel schedule is just way better. So in the big leagues, it, it actually isn't that bad. In the minor leagues, it's terrible. A lot of times in the minor leagues, you get one off day a month. So you play every single night. You're traveling on either bus, on long bus trips, which is really tough on your body, and you get no sleep. Or you're playing, or you're traveling on plane, but it ain't like the big leagues. So you're flying out early in the morning, right? You're, you're taking 6 a.m. flights. You're always flying non-direct flights. You always have stopovers. Um, again, you're not flying like a nice chartered private plane, you're flying commercial. You're standing in line like everybody else, okay? You're tri you're not sitting first class. And so that is so much more difficult. On the bus trips, the bus trips are really hard because you're going to leave right after a game. So you finish playing at 10 o'clock at night. You're going to get on the bus probably around 11 after you shower and eat. You're going to travel all throughout the night. And you're not going to get into a lot of cities until the next morning. And then you're going to try to get a little bit of sleep at that point. But then you've got to get up and go to the ballpark. And so one thing about the minor leagues is that you learn how to play exhausted. That was my, my the biggest thing that first year I played professionally. I learned how to play tired and how to play at way less than 100%. I felt in college that I played most games close to 100%. Now I get a little banged up. I remember I hurt my hamstring a little bit for a couple of games. But because you're only playing like four games a week in college, you have time to rest up. You don't have that time in the big or in professional baseball. If you're hurting, you've got to play. 
right? If you're tired, you've got to play. You you just play and you play and you play. I remember when I got called up to double A, they wouldn't take me out of the, the lineup. I remember every day I came under the field and I was like, please let me have a day off today. My body is killing me. I look up, my name was in the lineup every single day. And I do think there is a little bit of, at least it felt like this, like they were trying to test you to make sure that you had what it takes to get to the big leagues. They just beat the ever living crap out of you. And again, you take all of this stuff that I've already talked about in the minor leagues, you're staying in not very nice hotels. Uh, you're not eating great food because you don't have a whole lot of money. Luckily, I, I had a, a large signing bonus, which helped me a little bit. But a lot of times, the places that you're playing, there's no there's no place to go get food around. You eat a lot of fast food. We pull over on the side of the road a lot on, on when we're traveling, and we get McDonald's and Taco Bell and KFC. And, and so it's just that's the toughest part is playing all the time, every single day, playing sore, playing hurt. Um, doing it on no sleep with not the greatest food, I think that's the toughest part about getting adjusted to professional baseball. And honestly, when I went to the major leagues, I was like, man, this is unbelievable. This is because you're used to the minor league. This is fantastic. But then when you come back down to the minors, boy, does it stink. You don't want to come back down to the minors. So that's my answer. Um, Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for the question. I appreciate it. If you want me to answer more questions, put them down below in the comment section. I'll, I'll try to get to everybody. So that's all we have. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. Thanks so much. Subscribe if you haven't done that already also. And we will talk to you later.